Sora, you are the highest on them with at five and twelve. I want to hear your thoughts first on yeah, the Patriots. It's fine. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> Patriots are just a very young team, new head coach. Obviously, they don't have Bill Belichick, so they've got. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, Patriots are just a new team or young team, new head coach. Um, you know, you're looking at your new quarterback, hopefully your future quarterback, Joe Milton. I'm kidding. Drake may, <laughs> um, you know, new wide receivers. It's, it's going to be rough for them. They're going to have to get in their lumps and their bumps. Um, especially after losing Matthew Judon win wise, I can't find new England and all the letters. All right. Win wise, you know, it, it's, it's rough. They, their first four games, Cincy, Seattle, the jets, San Fran. I think that's a loss. Miami. I think they can split in that just because of it being Miami and their history with the jets. Usually they do pretty well against the jets. And again, who knows if it's going to be Aaron Rodgers by week four or by week eight, or if it's going to be a Tyrod Taylor or a Jordan Travis. So, you know, who knows really what it's going to be like with that. I think as a young team, if they can get to five wins, I don't think that's really nothing much to scoff about. Even if they get to four wins or three wins, I don't think that's really that much to scoff about. You're just new coach, new everything, new team. You're trading veteran players to build for the future. And, you know, you're hoping that it can work out. I mean, again, you got your franchise quarterback, Joe Milton. I see no problem here. I'm just saying, just start Joe Milton. It'll be easier. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Just very young team, but knowing the division that they play in, I think they can sneak out some games that they probably shouldn't have won, like again, against Miami, and they've got a good history of beating the Jets. Yeah. Miami <laughs> in New England. is And Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Tony, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> maybe okay i am the lowest on new england i just i don't i don't see it i see them having the number one pick in the draft for crying out loud really uh, interesting i do okay. a two two and five the only two wins i can see them having this year are sneaky road wins and that mm-hmm. and the two wins i got i'm looking at what i predicted i have them winning against tennessee and winning against chicago that's it that's it. This is the saddest year. You got a new head coach, no Belichick. It's sad patriot. That's oh, it's a very sad. <laughs> that's something. What? Yeah, that's that's. What a, am that's I looking something. at? Like I told you, listen. the logo looks like Ellen DeGeneres. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't realize that was her. Is that really Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. Oh yeah. my no, god! That enough deserves just two wins. Oh, oh my god. god. I mean, I don't I also don't believe in Drake May. Like a lot of people do. I think something is up with North Carolina quarterbacks. Like you had um Mitch Trubisky years ago getting drafted second overall and not amounting to crap. And he was a project the entire time he was in the league. I feel like Drake May is going to be a project the entire time he's in the league. And the difference between Mitch and Drake, at least Mitch had wheels. He could run out of the pocket. Drake May, he's going to have to run for his life because there's going to be no offensive line in New England. I just... Yeah, yeah that, that's what worries me too, is that offensive line. Yeah. Like, it's rookie quarterback or Jacoby Brissett, and you have an offensive line where... You know, David Andrews is solid. Michael Onwenu is solid, but Fedarian Low, City So, Chukwuma Okorafor, and then you drafted Layden Robinson out of Texas A&M in the fourth round. It, it's not an offensive line that's set up to support a rookie quarterback, whether that's Drake May or Joe Milton, right? And then you look at the weapons around him. Hunter Henry and Austin Hooper are both solid tight ends. Ramondre Stevenson is a, a solid running back too. Antonio Gibson, maybe you good as a backup but then at receiver it's also a lot of youth you're not supporting a quarterback with elite <laughs> options Jalen anywhere Polk, javon baker both of those guys are rookies Kayshawn booty was a rookie last year um tyquan thornton rookie last year tomorrow Jalen rager hasn't amounted to much 
you're, you're pretty much your veteran is Kendrick Bourne. Yeah. And at, they're going to have to rely on on the tight ends. You're going to have to rely mm-hmm. on Hunter Henry and Austin Hooper, guys like that. But, yeah. I mean, we know Jacoby Brissett's starting the season out. We know. Let's be real. The uh, MVP uh, of this entire season is going to be the senior bowl legend, Keon White himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's, I, just, it's just, this is not a good team this year. No. I'm, it's just, it's it's too young and too inexperienced. I'm I'm really with Tony on on all I mean, really both of y'all for for all of this. I mean, we're we're beating this team like as we're 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 really just dogging on them a lot here. I mean, they are going to be bad. I don't really see much hope for this team this year. Um, the offense was already bottom ten in nearly every yeah. single statistical category and bottom three in both yards and points. And now they have a new OC, rookie quarterbacks, and virtually no multi-year veterans at wide receiver. Uh, this is just a formula for, yeah, like Tony said, a number one pick. I mean, it's going to be top five. I can guarantee you that. And oh, yeah. I, I mean, top three. Even I with think, five also wins, I think, it, I think it'll be top five. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm with you there. So, this, yeah, this team's just not going to be good. And book it three and 14 for the ECG record prediction. Dead last in the AFC East. If you couldn't figure that out, I mean, we're here to help, but figure it out because <laughs> – New England is not good by any means. Read a book. Pick up a book. Learn some numbers. Blueberries. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell <laughs> notification so you're always notified. All right. Well, the 12th. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At this point in life, bro, you, you just got to be you, bro. Just be you, bro. Hey.